today with another kids book. I love these. Okay, there are going to be background sounds. Just so you guys know, that's just a kind of a kind of every time thing. There's going to be like cars or voices, so just warning you. Anyway, we're going to read Johnny Lyons' Rubber Boots, um, an I Can Read book um, by Edith Thatcher Heard, pictures by Clement Heard. I think I got the names right. Johnny Lyons' Little Boots to Abigail Brooks of Peaceful Kingdom. Uh, maybe you should go closer. It was raining. Drip, drip, drip. Oh dear, said Johnny Lyon. It's raining. I cannot go out to play. Yes, said Mother Lion. It is raining too hard. You cannot go out to play. But I have a big rain hat and a big rain coat, said Johnny Lion. But you do not have any rubber boots, said Mother Lion. Okay. Oh dear, oh dear, what can I do, said Johnny Lion. But Mother Lion did not hear Johnny Lion. She was busy. What can I do, said Johnny Lion. He went upstairs, he went downstairs, then he hid it in a dark, dark closet. Boo, said Johnny Lion. But Mother Lion was very, very busy. Don't be silly, Johnny Lion, said Mother Lion. Go upstairs and play. So Johnny Lion went upstairs to play. He made a lot of things. Little things, big things. And then he knocked them down. Crash, crash, crash. But Mother Lion was busy. She did not hear the crash, crash, crash. Oh dears, oh dear, said Johnny Lion. I wish I could go out and play. But Johnny Lion saw that everything was wet. The rain went drip, drip, drip. Then Johnny Lion painted a big picture. He painted a picture of a little tiny hunter. He drew wild animals. He drew wild people, and he drew a picture of a big, big, scary thing. Grrr, 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 went the big, scary thing. I love little hunters, but the little hunter did not see the big, scary thing. The big, scary thing went creep, creep, creep. The big, scary thing went jump, jump, jump. But the little hunter climbed a tree just in time. Then he waved his tail and he went, grrr, whoosh. Away went the big scary thing when Johnny Lion took his paintbrush and he took his red paint and he painted his tail all red. Then not when. Oh, 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 yelled Johnny Lion. The great big scary thing bit me in the bit me in the tail. The red paint went drip, drip, drip all the way down the stairs. What a mess, cried Mother Lion. Johnny Lion, clean up that awful mess. So Johnny Lion cleaned up that awful mess. Then Johnny Lion built a dark cave. He built a cave with a big box, two chairs, and a blanket. Johnny Lion got inside his cave and growled, grrr, and howled. Then Mother Lion came upstairs. She was not scared a bit. What a mess, she said. Johnny Lion, clean up your room. So Johnny Lion cleaned up his room, then he looked outside. It is not raining now, he said. Please, may I go out to play? Please, please, please. Not now, said Mother Lion. Everything is very wet, and you do not have any rubber boots. Poor Johnny Lion did not know what to do. He sang a little song just to himself. He sang a very, very little song. Rainy day, rainy day, go away, go away. Let the sun come out to stay. Rainy day, rainy day. I'm going to adjust you again. <laughs> Some hard work. Johnny Lion stopped singing. Someone was coming. It was Father Lion. Father Lion had something. What is that? said Johnny Lion. It is something for you, said Father Lion. Oh, said Johnny Lion, just what I wanted, red rubber boots. Yes, said Father Lion, I thought so. Johnny Lion put on his red rubber boots. 
Just right, he said. Now may I go out to play? Yes, said Mother Lion. Put on your red coat hat, red rain hat, and your red raincoat, and don't get wet. Of course not, said Johnny Lion. Then he went outside to play. Everything was wet. Everything was dripping. Drip, drip, drip. There were lots and lots of puddles. Johnny Lion walked in all the puddles. He walked in his new red rubber boots. Johnny Lion jumped in the puddles. You will get your feet all wet, called Mother Lion. But Johnny Lion did not hear Mother Lion. He was very busy. Then Johnny Lion saw a big yellow dog. Oh, oh, cried Mother Lion. Look out, look out, Johnny Lion. Johnny Lion climbed a tree and waved his tail and growled, grrr, zip, 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 zippity, zip, zip, zip. Away went the big yellow dog. I was not scared a bit, said Johnny Lion. It's kind of like the whole big scary thing story that he painted earlier. Johnny Lion sat up in a big, up in the big wet tree and he looked down on the big wet world. Then it began to rain again. Trip. Drip, drip, on the tree, drip, 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 on Johnny Lion's rain hat. Johnny Lion climbed down out of the tree. He got inside of a great big box. The, the rain went drip, drip, drip. Mother Lion looked for Johnny Lion. Oh, 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 said Mother Lion. Where is Johnny Lion? Mother looked. Father looked. Oh, 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 cried Mother Lion. That pink yellow dog got my little Johnny Lion. Nonsense, said Father Lion. The Mother Lion put on her raincoat. She put on her rain hat and her rain boots. Father Lion took his big umbrella and they went to look for Johnny Lion. Mother Lion, Mother and Father Lion looked and looked. Johnny Lion, Johnny Lion, called Mother Lion. Johnny Lion, come here at once, said Father Lion. It, just then they heard a noise. It was a growling noise. Growl, growl, growl. Then they heard a howling noise. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, said Mother Lion. The big yellow dog has Johnny Lion in that box. Oh, no, he hasn't, someone said. Johnny Lion jumped out. Oh, said Mother Lion. The big yellow dog did not get you after all. Of course not, Johnny Lion said. Then Father Lion held his big umbrella over Johnny Lion, and Mother Lion gave Johnny Lion a great big hug. Now come inside, said Mother Lion. Do I have to come? Do I have to come inside, said Johnny Lion? Yes, said Father Lion. You are very, very wet. Not my feet, said Johnny Lion. And he was right. He took off his new red rubber boots and his feet were just as dry as dry could be. Mother Lion, Mother Lion, put on the kettle, put the kettle on, said Father Lion, and we will all have tea. So Mother Lion put the kettle on. And they all had tea. The end. Okay, I just want to say, super cute, by the way. I got this at the bookstore, too. But when he said, these are just what I wanted when he got their own boots. Um, that's actually an improv game. <laughs> um, that you, like, hand, like, it's a silent game. You, like, hand a box. It's over, by the way. Like, you can X out of this video. But I just wanted to explain it because I love the game. But you, like... Hand, it's a silent game. So you hand a box to one person and then they're just like, it's just what I wanted. And then so the person who opened the box, fake box, they like start playing with it. And um, the other person who handed them the present has to like guess what it is. So anyway, it's very fun. It's like kind of like charades. It practically is, but yeah, it's super fun. So you guys ever want to try that that's that anyway thank you guys for joining me i love the books that i got at the bookstore i don't know why this one's on the ground the housekeeper stock is also on the channel right here by jerry smiles anyway thank you guys for joining me and i'll see you guys for the next book so if you guys want to stay tuned subscribe otherwise that's about it so bye it's not turning off <laughs>